For most of us, it's by far the longest crop we'll ever grow. It's also quite unique in that a portion of the harvest is saved to replant and grow from itself in a never-ending cycle of pure awesomeness. That's right, we're back to talking about garlic. 10 plus months after we planted these guys, they're finally ready to be harvested. Nothing too complicated here, simply pull up the bulbs carefully, one at a time. I do have a few tips though, that's going to make your garlic harvesting day go a bit smoother. When to harvest, how to harvest, how to cure, and the best way to store the bulbs so that your garlic will last you all summer, winter, and beyond. I've got hundreds of bulbs here to pull up, and this is my 14th year of growing garlic on this scale. So today, let's talk about all things garlic harvest so that we can finally enjoy the fruits of our labor nearly a year later. No question, Hard neck garlic will be one of the most unique crops you ever grow. It actually requires a winter chilling period shortly after planting to complete its life cycle. Without that winter chill, known as vertilization, the garlic plants don't get the clues to bulb up and usually end up growing only leaves. Once winter finally subsides, the race is on, and as one of the first plants up in the spring, garlic grows like crazy at this time. Huge fans of lush green foliage, but surprisingly very little action going on below ground. Small, unassuming root systems, and certainly no bulbs. Yet. Fast forward to the beginning of summer, and we can finally start thinking about that harvest. Garlic does grow right at that soil surface, so it's super easy to take a peek to see how the bulbs are doing. We can harvest at pretty much any time now, but there is an optimal window that we should be striving for. Not to mention a few things that we need to watch out for, such as this rain here. Let me explain. When looking to pull up and harvest garlic, we've got two goals in mind, maximum bulb size and maximum shelf life. Without a doubt, both of those things are governed by timing too early and there simply may not be much garlic bulb to enjoy in the first place. And even if there is, that protective papery coating will not be properly formed. Too late and those bulbs are going to split, also ruining any chances at curing and being able to store the garlic beyond just a couple of weeks. If we can nail that timing, store them properly, these guys will last six to seven months easy pretty much all the way up until next year's harvest. That's how you manage to never have to buy garlic again. Okay, seems simple enough. What exactly is then the right time? Well, with garlic, that window of time to harvest is all dictated by what the leaves are doing, and to a lesser extent, the weather. The most reliable indicator of knowing when it's the right time to harvest your garlic is when a portion of the leaves have turned brown died and dried off. And it makes sense when you think about it, because all a garlic bulb is, is layers and layers of modified leaves. The outside leaves are what actually forms and becomes the protective sheath that allows us to store garlic for so long. Waiting for the right time for that sheath to develop is what's key to being successful with this. A good rule of thumb is to harvest your garlic once you've noticed about half the leaves have died off. Some people will wait as long as two thirds and others will pull up their garlic when only one third of the leaves have died. It really seems to be variety dependent, but in all the years of growing garlic, in all the types that I've grown, the rule of one half has never failed me. Okay, so we've determined that the garlic is ready for harvest, both by the foliage indicator as well as taking a peek at a few bulbs down below. It's finally time to dig these guys up. However, 
there is one thing we need to make sure of, and that's that the soil is dry, relatively. Curing and storing garlic is all about drying out those outer layer of leaves to protect the goodness inside. Take it from someone who's made this mistake many times, if you start out with wet garlic bulbs, the curing process is going to be infinitely harder. That's if it's even successful at all. <laughs> to ensure this, don't harvest on a rainy day and stop watering your garlic around two weeks before your intended harvest date. I know it sounds like a simple thing, but it really does make a difference. Okay, the actual harvest is pretty easy, yes, but don't be careless with it. I try not to yank up the bulbs unless the soil is really, really loose, like say in a container. Also, I don't go in hacking with a giant spade either. Look, just like with potatoes, if any of that bulb is damaged, even in the smallest way, you can kiss long-term storage goodbye. So instead, work the area immediately around the bulb until it's loose enough to simply pull it up. It's super easy and it doesn't take long, maybe 5 to 10 seconds per bulb. Stack the bulbs neatly beside you as you go along, leaving the entire garlic plant intact. It may not seem like it, but that ratty foliage is still important and still useful as we move along to the curing stage. Once the garlic is all harvested, we need to find a dry place to hang them for about a month or so. Now, for ease of handling, I do like to bundle my garlic in groups of 10 or so, but depending on how you're going to be hanging them, it's not completely necessary. What is necessary though, is to leave the roots, the dirt, and all that dead foliage intact. Don't touch or modify the garlic in any way at this time. It's important to note, because the urge to clean up your garlic right now is sky high. In a shady, protected area with good airflow, hang your garlic bulb side down for around two to four weeks. Again, leave all those roots and all that dirt on there until they're fully dried and cured. We're going to take care of the final cleanup in the next stage. Like we said, after about two to four weeks, those bulbs are going to be fully dried, fully cured, and ready for the final cleanup. First things first, Cut off the stems of the garlic plant about an inch above the bulb itself. Next, trim off those roots right up to the bottom of the bulb. Finally, take off one, maybe two, but no more of the outermost papery coating. This is going to be an extension of that last layer of leaves and it's going to be the dirtiest, rattiest looking layer. If your garlic is fully dried and cured, it comes off super easy. After about a minute or so, you're left with a perfectly clean, immaculate garlic bulb that you grew yourself. Pretty straightforward stuff, yes, but lots of moving parts if you've never done it before. So let's go ahead and recap those main points so that we don't miss a thing. While garlic certainly is a long crop to grow, it doesn't have to be difficult, nor should it be a hard one to harvest. Maximizing both the bulb size and that shelf life is the ultimate goal, and that's achieved by timing the harvest correctly. Make sure to stop watering at least two weeks before you intend to harvest, and on a dry day, once one half the leaves have turned brown and died off, begin by digging up your garlic bulbs. Dig around the base carefully, taking special care not to either damage the bulb nor yank them out too hard. Damaged skin or broken tops are just not going to store for very long. Once harvested, leave all the roots, dirt and dead foliage intact and hang your garlic bulbs up in a cool dry location for about 2-4 to four weeks. Remember, at this stage, the drier the better. After they're fully cured, cut the stems down to about one inch. 
trim those roots flush and remove one to two of those outer papery coatings. Just the dirty ones, no more. Harvested and cured in this manner, your garlic will store for up to six months and beyond. No doubt, garlic will test even a veteran grower's patience. With an extremely long time between planting and harvesting, it can definitely be a trying crop to deal with. Fortunately, it's a pretty low maintenance crop and that harvest is fairly straightforward. So, hopefully with the tips that we've covered here today, you're in for your best garlic harvest yet this summer. Hey, leave a comment down below and let me know how you made out with your garlic this year. As well, list any of those favorite garlic varieties that you may be cultivating. I'm always looking for new ones to try. Happy growing guys, and I'll see you soon. Hey, thanks so much for watching guys. I appreciate the support more than you know. And if you're getting value from these videos, please like and share them to spread the word and help your fellow gardener to grow better.